Hey guys, in today's quick video, I wanted to uh, see what it would take to create uh, lips. So custom lips here in ZBrush really, really quick. How do we do it? Well, uh, if you're new to ZBrush and maybe you're new to sculpting, one of the most important thing, obviously, is to uh, have a very good uh, reference or kind of a precise understanding of anatomy and the muscles. So for this uh, tutorial, let's do this. Let's go to Lightbox. And let's grab the demo head um, female as a reference for our lips so we can both kind of follow along and have something to look at as far as the end result so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select her from lightbox and then just do Control d uh, let's do it maybe just twice right so i'm at 200 i'm on level three actually on subdivision level and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to sub tools and append a sphere I'm going to take this sphere, grab my move, and just move it aside and maybe scale it down. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is make sure that you have your local symmetry turned on, which will allow us to sculpt on the sphere, right? Uh, next, let's do this. Let's make sure that the sphere layer is selected and let's subdivide this Control D uh, a couple times until you get something to like 500,000. So that would be subdivision level four. Let's just see if we can very quickly kind of replicate these lips on our own uh, sphere and that will allow us to obviously sculpt uh, lips on any other custom character that we do uh, in the future, right? All right, so how do you start? Um, I think the best way to do, to do this is just grab something like the standard brush, make it kind of large. So in my case, um, I have it set to 144 and my intensity is gonna be, let's do something like 25. And I am going to press X on my keyboard to set my X symmetry. And I'm just simply going to make a, a blob, just going back and forth two times. And you can even do a little more if you want, but just essentially just create kind of a flat blob, right? So you have something along these lines, right? All right, very nice. So once you have your blob, what would be the second step? The second step would be grab your Damien standard brush and set the intensity to something like 40. And as far as the size goes, uh, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll set my brush to around 50. All right. And uh, again, if your local symmetry is on and your active symmetry is on, you should see, uh, you should be able to see two points. And now what we can do is you can just simply drag from the center a shape that kind of resembles uh, lips in this reference, right? So you have something like that. All right, let's, uh, next let's define the bottom lip. So I'm gonna dial my uh, Damien standard brush down to 20, holding down the old key. Draw something like the, along these lines. You can hold on the shift key and smooth this out if you wanted to. Um, also, if you hold on the shift key, you can control the Z intensity. So maybe uh, you don't want it to be all the way at 100%. Maybe uh, we can do something a little more gradual. I'm gonna switch, uh, set mine to 30, okay? And next, let's go ahead, still in Damien Standard, holding down the Alt key, let's go ahead and define the top lip. So again, holding down the Alt key, I'm just gonna create something uh, like this for the top lip. If you are having uh, any points that you're not happy with, again, hold on the Shift key to smooth them out a little bit, that's fine. All right, next we can do uh, is, let's grab our standard brush and let's make it a little bit larger and let's uh, change the Z intensity to something like 10. And let's just add just a little bit, uh, just a little volume to the bottom lip. And if you wanted to even, even add a little bit to the top as well. Holding down the shift key, you can smooth them out. Okay, so you have something like that, very nice. Um, all right, another thing we can do uh, is we can grab our standard brush and go to stroke. We can switch it to uh, drag rectangular. We can drag, uh, maybe select something like alpha 62 and just very carefully drag out a couple lines uh, for the lips, just to add a little more uh, texture to it. All right, very nice. Let's uh, switch it back to alpha one and I'm gonna switch it back to dots. Uh, in the standard brush, I'm gonna hold down I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller. Hold down the old key and let's just create that little uh, lip indentation. Then let go of the uh, alt and maybe just do a little more on the sides. Holding down the shift key, just kind of smooth, smooth it out. 
All right, very nice. We can maybe add just a little bit of a chin here. So it looks like it starts to look kind of uh, similar to our reference. And then the final step obviously is gonna be grabbing uh, the move brush and tweaking it uh, as you wish. So maybe you want it you know, a little smaller, a little larger. You can change the position. Um, you can even grab something like the pinch brush and maybe pinch your lips on the uh, at the very end. You can pinch them up, maybe a little smile, uh, as you wish, right? And as a very uh, final step, what I would do is grab the standard brush, again, make it kind of uh, strong. And let's just redefine, now since we've been sculpting and uh, smoothing, uh, kind of redefine that All right, very nice. So let's take a look. Now we do a quick BPR. There you go. So now this uh, would be uh, an awesome way to quickly create uh, custom lips uh, for your characters. All right, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next video.